Uh, I'm Peter. I'm Jared. Um, I, we're the team I'd Rather Be Fishing. Um, our project is a Denzo with a color sensor. We have three different colors, red, green, and blue, and whichever color it places in a certain spot. Yep, so we'll go ahead and just start basically with our master control relay, which turns on the whole project. As you can see, we've got a touch screen. has none picked at the moment, so we can go ahead and we'll hit start and it goes through like a timing process which resets all our encoders, resets the program, turns on the motor which you get a light tick and then it should take off and go. And as it picks it up, it sets to what color it is and then it chooses a different program and then it goes through and places it whatever color it is. This is only 25% speed. It's pretty bad. Pretty much done here. Now I'm going to want to volunteer from the class. Anyone want to help us out for a minute? Should I screw the shoulder pod up? Yep. All right. Mix right. colors up. Yep. Right. Come on That's over. Exactly one yep. Yep. And put up. Uh, got the spots there. Just put three blocks Piles? in each pile and put them wherever you like. Let's mix it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we'll make sure you just spray up. Sure nice and <laughs> yeah. You can't okay. And then <laughs> you can hit start on the touch screen if you'd like. All right. Not picked. Start. 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 It gives it a second. Oh, sorry, yeah. my bad. I don't want. To, I'm trying to screw the robot up. <laughs> we got these robots. We actually had three of them here. Um, we had the one that the group used last year. We had that one up and running. So then we have two groups that are using Denzos. So. We decided to uh, leave the good one out and then take the two of them that weren't working. And uh, we went through and it was a little bit tricky at first getting it going. The controller was kind of screwy. And we actually had to hook a keyboard up to it and just basically do like a complete system reset on it. So it went through and it would like load up the software. And then once we got into it, it was all just programming points. And then basically it went through and used binary to uh, tell it what program it needed to run. So that's all taken care of in our PLC. <laughs> and you can look here, we got the screen, and we can open the door. We got our robot controller down there, and then all our wiring with our DIN rails and stuff like that, and our PLC. Can we open that wire? Should be able to. It's a large stretch. Bang. Looks good, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Cool.